According to the stats from my Forex fund, more than 85% people who take their challenge account, they fail their first phase of the challenge. This number is so dramatic that I decided that I need to make this video to help you guys. In this video, I will share what are the steps that you must follow if you want to become a funded trader in 2022. So I have been working with prof firms for almost three years now. So I will share only those steps that are the most important things that you need to follow to become a funded trader from my three years experience of working with the prof firm industry. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Ajwat and you're watching Falcon Trading Academy YouTube channel, a channel where we discuss day trading strategies, prop firms, trading psychology to help you become a full-time trader and most importantly, to help you become a funded trader. So I really recommend that you watch this video until the end so you do not miss any important information. So without further ado, let's get into this video. The very first step that you must follow is you must have a trading plan. From the statistics of my Forex fund, one thing I can guarantee is that the traders that are losing the challenges, they are the ones who just randomly takes the trade without following any proper system and without following any proper trading plan. Because these account sizes are so attractive to a lot of traders, they just want to complete their challenge as quickly as possible to get a funded account. And this behavior, it really affects trading psychology a lot. Imagine that you want to get a funded account of $100,000, which is a huge amount. No pro firm cares if you just keep failing your challenge due to lack of proper trading system and proper trading plan. In fact, they even make most of their profits when traders fail the challenges. So you need to make sure that you are one of those traders that actually become a funded trader. So the first thing that you need to focus is you have to make a trading plan. Work out on your trading plan, find out your edge in the market, find out what works for you and what does not work for you. Then make a serious trading plan on how you need to take a trade, what are the steps that you need to follow before even you decide to enter into the trade, where should you put your stop loss, where should you put your target. You should not be even considering working with prop firms if you do not know how to trade, if you do not have a proper trading system and you do not have a trading plan. So once you know your trading system very well and you make your trading plan, the next very important step is make a solid risk management system. The most important aspect of day trading is risk management. No matter how well you trade, no matter whether you have a trading system that works 90% of the time, if you do not know how to manage your risk, you will never be a successful trader. Risk management is the reason that why more than 90% of the traders fail in the industry. Now it may sound easy to you, but believe me when I tell you that risk management is the hardest part of day trading, whether you trade Forex, stocks, crypto or whatever you trade. It's the hardest part of day trading. Now the question comes, how to make a risk management plan for pro firms? Let's say you know very well how to trade. You have an edge in the market. You have back tested a lot. So what you need to do? First of all, you need to identify those trades that have a higher risk reward ratio. For me personally, when I trade, I do not take any trade that does not have a minimum of one to 2.5 risk reward ratio. No matter how well the trade setup is, if that trade does not have a minimum of 2.5 rewards, I just simply do not take that trade. I let it run, I see how the market works and that's it. I do not take any trade that does not have a minimum of 2.5 risk reward ratio. So it's very important that you have the higher rewards when you take the funded account challenges because your winners have to be larger than your losers. Now here is my guide for you in order to make a risk management system. Before you even take the challenge, first do some paper trading by risking maximum 1% per trade on every single trade. I recommend that always risk between 0.5% to 1% on every trade and target at least two or more rewards from every trade and let the trade run till it hits your take profit or stop loss. And one very important thing is that let's say you open a position with 1% risk on a trade. Once you open it, do not start looking for another trade opportunity right away. Wait until your trade your first trade on which you have risked 1%, wait until it hits your take profit or stop loss. Let it perform, give it some time, and once it is done, then look for another trade opportunity. So here is what we have learned from our second step, which is risk management. The first thing is risk between 0.1% 
and 1% per trade. Second point, target minimum two rewards from each trade. Third point, do not open a new position until your first one hits take profit or stop loss. Once you follow the first two steps, make a trading plan and make a risk management plan, the next very important step is that you must take a trial account before even putting your money on buying the challenge. So you know how to trade. You have a solid trading plan and you have a solid risk management plan. Don't just take the challenge by only thinking that you have followed the first two steps so you will easily pass the challenge. We do not want to waste our hard earned money on the challenge fees. We want to make sure that we will only spend our money when we are completely ready to become a funded trader. So what you need to do, take a trial account from FTMO, test your system by following your trading plan and risk management plan. See if you can pass the challenge or not. Spend some time preparing yourself for the challenge on a trial account. So now coming to our fourth step, which is the last step. So when you take a trial account from FTMO, you need to follow a very solid trading plan and risk management plan. And once you do these steps, you need to journal every single trade that you will take on your trial account. You need to write down all the reasons that why you want to take this trade. You must write down your mental condition, your mental processing at that time when you are deciding to take a trade because of whatever the reasons that you will have. You want to make sure that you know what if this trade do this, what if this trade do that? This is how you need to journal your trading when you will do the trial to see whether you can pass the challenge or not. So now we know what are the most important steps that you must follow if you want to become a funded trader in 2022. But I want to share some very key points as well that will help you in your journey of becoming a funded trader. When you take the challenge account, after following the first four steps that I have shared with you and you think you are ready to complete the challenge, the first point that you need to keep in mind is that 30 days is a lot of time for you to complete the challenge. Many traders, when they take the challenge, they usually end up thinking that 30 days is not a lot of time to complete the challenge. But in reality, it is a lot of time. So do not over risk and do not over leverage in order to pass the challenge in a shorter period of time possible. You have 30 days, take your time, follow your plan and then complete the challenge. It is easy to complete the challenge in 30 days time. I have done that many, many times. So if I can do, you can do as well. The second point is do not over trade. Over trading is one of the reasons that most traders are not successful in their trading. This happens when you are greedy or you do revenge trading. You need to keep in mind that no matter how well your trading system is, not every trade that you will take is going to hit your take profit. So there is no need for you to revenge trade if you lose one or two trades. When you trade, always restrict yourself to a maximum of one or two trades per day. And if your first trade hits stop loss, then just simply move away from the computer screen. Do not force yourself to find another trade opportunity because you will end up doing a revenge trading. Now coming to our last point, which is hold on to your winners. Holding on to your winners can be an absolute game changer for you. When you see such trade opportunities that have the potential to be a large winner, hold on to it man. Do not close it early. If you can find such trade that can be a huge winner, that is great because the larger the winners, the fewer trades you will take in order to complete the challenge. So these are the steps and points I think are very important if you want to become a funded trader. You have to remember that the trading is a marathon, it's not a sprint. So I hope that you guys got some value out of this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to comment your thoughts in the comment section. So this is all from this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.